started visiting this planetarium when I was in fourth grade. And um, I was amazed by it. I was marveled by it. Um, I, I loved it. I was just, you know, like a kid in a candy store. Uh, the planetarium was a place of, uh, uh, that you could explore. Uh, you'd walk in and there was a, a moon uh, against one wall that, that would rotate uh, a large, very large, oversized globe in the center of the planetarium. There were displays and exhibits, a spacesuit and uh, things like that at the time. And then when you enter the dome area for the planetarium shows, obviously the star shows are the best. I have been at the planetarium numerous times over the decades, uh, either with my kids or um, accompanying school groups for shows. And uh, it's, it's changed over the years. That's one of the reasons that we do try to hold different kinds of special events here is because we want more of the MSU community to know that we exist and that we offer things other than just stars and constellations and star talks and things. You know, I know there were some people in the planetarium community that historically were, oh, planetariums are just for stars and, you know, everybody else stay out. But, you know, we don't want people to get that attitude from us and so we want to try to be as inclusive as we can and let people all around campus know that we can do other things. You know, we can do, like, you know, the game night or recently we did a program about um, architecture. One of the architecture faculty came in and did a talk in there showing some Frank Lloyd Wright houses that are in the area that you know, were really fascinating. So, you know, we try to branch out. Um, I think that we are connecting with the MSU community and the community in general about the assets and the benefits of the planetarium. Again, you have the, the component of um, uh, a, a dual component of educating and entertainment. So you get that with both of with both, uh, the missions and the goals of the uh, and visions of the planetarium. You show a kid a rock, like yeah, that's a rock. You tell them it's a space rock, then it's really cool. Then doesn't matter that it doesn't look any different than when they thought it was a rock. But once you tell them it's from space, that makes it that much more engaging. Engaging, and since we do have so few hands-on tangibles in astronomy, this is one of those ways to really get people touching and feeling and. Safely. Space tends to hold a special spot in I think everybody's mind. The potential for exploration, what we've already done, what we're still learning, and the look to the future. It, it holds a, a special spot, so the planetarium plays a big role in that, in promoting space, in promoting going out at night uh, and looking at the stars, which doesn't cost anything. I think this is truly one of the the gems of Michigan State University.